Hey, it's Coach Chris, and today I want to talk to you about the high low action against a 2 3 zone in your zone offense and how you can score with that. Now, we have our 2 3 zone set up here, and you know, let's have our three perimeter players out of here. We'll have a three out, two in set. And when we're talking about a high low, we're talking about a high post work in this area, and we're talking about somebody low. So that's the high, this is the low. Now, you can place your person typically will be up here at the free throw line area and then you'll have a low person can be on the block or they can be out here in the short corner area and you know a lot of times that'll depend on what you think your player can do uh, most kids I see stuck on the block in high school basketball they're really not very good post players they don't have any moves except just to turn and shoot they don't have any fakes or anything like that <laughs> and they're not good with their back to the basket so I think for a lot of players that I see, they should be playing out here in the short corner where if they do catch, they're moving or facing the rim as they catch. They're not catching with their back to the basket, which is really very hard for them. You have to have some skill uh, to be able to score with your back to the basket. And most kids I see just can't do that, but they're out of position. So make sure you're using your players to their skill level and what they're capable of. Just about any kid could catch a basketball in the short corner and shoot it from 10 feet and at least have a decent shot of making that shot. So, so what I'm gonna talk about here is being out here in the short corner. Now, you can do this a couple ways. You could have this kid in the short corner, the ball goes over here, and you can drop that kid to the short corner, and that player moves to the high post. So that's kind of what we call Xing. They're making an X in there. So when the ball is here, the ball goes to the wing, the high post goes to the short corner, that guy goes to the high post, and the opposite. Now, one thing that I drew there that you don't really necessarily want to do, I just drew it for the diagram, but when I'm talking about being in the short corner and going to the high post, you're looking for a gap. You are not looking to go to the spot on the floor. So don't ever put a spot on the floor and tell the kid to go there. Tell him to go from this short corner to find a gap. The gap may be there, it may be there, it may be there. They just have to find it, okay? So that's the important thing to understand if you're gonna run motion out of this and move those players is that each time they cut across, they're going to a place where they can catch a basketball. They're not just running to a spot. Okay, so typically, if you're coming across, like I'm talking about, you're probably gonna be catching the ball at this elbow or high post area, something here. So we're gonna put our high post there, that's our high, and then our low will be this short corner. Now in the video with Louisville and Syracuse, again, Syracuse's bottom forwards get way high, and again, I don't really understand quite why they're so high, because they just end up getting out of position a lot of times and guarding no one. So, and in high school, you're gonna see more your standard two, three, where that bottom forward may bump that guy off, but he's not gonna play up there. He'll go bump him off and get back. So when the ball goes in to the high post, he is looking for that guy on a dive. So he's looking to move in to where he can get behind this player there and score behind him. And then vice versa. If the ball goes to this player in the short corner, the high post is looking to dive and get the basketball. So those two are always playing together. That should be his first look. The ball goes in the high post, he should look to short corner. If the ball goes into the short corner, he's got to look high post. And this guy over here, you got to make sure they're trying to throw the ball into either one of those. That's his first look, his short corner, high post. Now this high post should be coming over late. You don't want him, as soon as the ball's passed, you don't want this kid running right over there right away. Tell him to delay a second, so if you delay a second, all these defensive players will turn their back, watch the ball, and then you're able to run in behind them to the gap, wherever that may be, and they won't see you, okay? And that's what will make this very effective. If you just run right over there, they'll know exactly where you're at as the ball gets there. So you wanna use the element of surprise when you're coming from the backside. Now when we're talking about the short corner player here, we do not want them to get below the backboard. So if we drew a line out from the backboard, they should play with their butt to the baseline and be facing and looking at the basketball so that they can easily catch and turn and go. Now again, you don't want to get below the backboard because now you're playing behind the backboard. Very tough to score when you're behind the backboard there. So make sure your players stay up even, 
shoulders even with the backboard at the most so that they're not getting too low. All right, so let's talk about when that ball goes into the high post here. What's going to happen? Well, he's going to turn and face is the first thing you should do. He should always turn and face and look. If nobody's guarding them. They can shoot the basketball. They're looking for the dive there to that player, the pass there, and they're looking to kick it out. Now, typically, your best kick out will be opposite. So if I catch the ball here at the high post, I'm looking for him first, and then the defense will typically have sunk in once the balls come in. And then this player over here needs to find a good passing lane for him to get him the ball. And you know, a lot of times you can sneak in here and get an even closer shot than a three if you want. But that player needs to be moving to where he can get the ball. Same is true for him. And this guy's kind of your outlet player. Okay, so let's take a look at some Louisville versus Syracuse footage here. And I'll break the high-low down. Uh, from Louisville, how they attack the Syracuse zone. Remember to check out our DVD rental program on our website, hoopsking.com. I got over 900 titles you can rent through the mail and learn from the best coaches in the game. So check out the breakdown footage. If there's any other videos you'd like to see, just let me know. Leave it down in the comments if you have any questions. Okay, so let's take a look at this uh, high-low action here. So the ball goes into 14. He's wide open. And now as you look at the short corner player for Louisville, they have a two-on-one situation with number 13, the middle of Syracuse's zone. Again, Syracuse's bottom forwards go so high. They're above the free throw line. Uh, you know, they're really extending themselves and being susceptible uh, to this high-low action. So let's go from there. So as he turns and faces, obviously the middle of the zone is now playing him at the high post and nobody is covering the bottom short corner there. And then he also has 22 on the skip and the bottom forward here at the left of the Syracuse zone is going to have to decide which one he's going to cover. Is he going to cover the guy cut into the basket or is he going to let the skip pass go? So they've got him in a three on two situation now. And so the short corner dives, he hits him with the pass. So that's your high-low action you're looking from for your high post to the short corner. Okay, freeze it there. As you see, the bottom forward at the top of your screen for Syracuse now is back in a better position. He's bumped back down low, so he's not standing up above the free throw line. So Syracuse has this pretty well defended at this point, except the middle of the zone is going to get beat one-on-one -on -one with the drive because all the Syracuse guys are kind of taking their guy and it opens up a drive for 14. You know, you want your high post to look to score, whether off the shot on the catch or the drive. They need to be aggressive. Okay, freeze it right there. So now Syracuse is covering that short corner. Skip pass, number four there. He's not in a position where he can really get the ball, but nobody's really guarding the high post. The middle of the zone's hands are down. That should just be a turn, a catch, and a shoot. Okay, so this time Syracuse is really overloaded. They got four players on one side of the floor. So they got somebody on the block who just got the ball entered to in the low post, and now 14 will dive. So that's your high low action. You almost have a mid low high low action here, so to speak, is because he could still ditch it to 22, the short corner there, as he's moving to the basket. But he hits 14 on the high low. Nobody's in 14's path to the hoop until he gets right to the charge circle, and so he's easily able to. To finish the play would you like to dominate the x and o's of the game well join our rental program and you will learn from the best coaches and get these dvds delivered to you in the mail there's no subscription just go to our webpage, check out all the details of our rental program but many coaches across the united states are learning that our rental program is the quickest way to become a better basketball coach and dominate the competition Okay, now here's a situation where the high post does not turn and face, and obviously he's not a threat to score, and he can't see 33 in the upper left corner there who can dive to the basket, and we got that high-low action there, 
and the Syracuse bottom forward doesn't really even see 33 at this point. So your high post should always turn and face. He kicks it out to two, but you know he's not really not open to get the shot off of that. You always want your high post to turn and face. Look at their options. All right, now he catches in the high post. He turns and faces. Nobody's guarding him, so he's got a nice open shot. He's got a pass potentially to the short corner on the bottom right screen. And then he's got a pass to 22 out there for the three. So he's got some options here. Okay, this one's a textbook high-low. So that bottom forward for Syracuse is way up high again. He's just very susceptible to being cut on back door there. So the ball's entered to the high post. He doesn't even turn this time because he knows he's got him. He just whips it right. Nice bounce pass in there. As you can see, the bottom forward for Syracuse looking for him out at the three-point line. Well, he's not there anymore, and he's just able to drop it right down. So that short corner guy of yours, you always want him moving. Mess with that guy, that bottom forward, so they don't know where you're at. Keep them guessing. Okay, I'll freeze it right there. Again, nobody's guarding him at the high post. That's a 12-foot shot. Division One player, to me, has got to take that shot. Make or miss. Look, you're going to have 30. He's already diving in. He's got rebounding position on two. And you got, uh, I think it's 22 there. He's got rebounding position. Put that shot up. You got the rebound, make or miss, probably. Okay, so what I want to show you here is look how the player up top cuts in behind the top guy there. So he cuts into this gap. He doesn't stand around and watch, even though he didn't shoot the ball, and then he finds him for the layup. Okay, there's really no denying the high post here. Just lets, they let him throw the ball in. Again, nobody's guarding him. So he does a nice job taking a dribble, pump faking, and the low man got the inside position for the easy basket. So you just got to keep moving, keep moving, and something good will happen. Okay, a couple clips ago I said he should just take that ball and shoot it. He's wide open and they got rebounding. So now look at him. Again, the short corner, the low man 13 and 0, both have rebounding position. We got a great shot out of that. And we have two white shirts there for the tip in. Just put it up, big fella. Hey, and if you like this video, please leave us a like. Uh, please leave a comment if you have any questions about what you just watched or leave in the comments what you would like to see. If there are any specific team systems that you would like to see broken down or just uh, whatever you'd like to see for as uh, future videos, let us know in the comments and we'll work on making those for you.